The Power of Intention In Hadith, it is written about people who want to do good deeds. For example, a person wants to perform the pilgrimage to Mecca. They cannot afford to, but they wish they could. Then, the season for pilgrimage arrives, and pilgrims are beginning to leave for Mecca. And this person constantly watches them and feels grief, longs for that trip. Others say to this person, my dear, don't be upset, stay at home. The reward for taking action, assuming the state of ihram, declaring your readiness to God, circumambulating, performing prayers, sa'i, staying and sacrificing, all of it is written on your record of deeds. All of those acts, you have performed them. This person comes before their Lord on the Day of Judgment. Their record of deeds is placed in their hand. One pilgrimage, or two, three, ten pilgrimages, Umrah and others. The person says, have I performed a pilgrimage? They say to them, in such and such a year, you went on the pilgrimage. At such and such a time, you performed the Umrah. You made a pilgrimage to the grave of Sayyid al-Shuhada. How many times? So many times. But when did I do this? The person asks, Oh God, you are honest, and you like those who are honest. I have not performed these acts. Why have you written them in my record of deeds? The person is surprised. Poor thing, they are sick and poor and needy, but in their record of deeds is written, this person has freed a thousand slaves for the satisfaction of God. They have set many tables. They have fed many people. This person has built mosques. They say, on the day you were walking around, did your gaze not fall upon the poor? In your heart, did you not pray? I wish I had something. I would give it all to these poor people. This very intention came here and made these deeds for you. You fed a thousand people. You freed a thousand slaves. But on one condition, if money is put into this person's hand, they must give it away. Not like some who say when they have nothing, I would do these deeds, but when they come into money, they forget. God cannot be deceived. He is very precise. He is the best accountant.